Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going over things that I wish that I knew prior to enrolling in uh, Western Governors University uh, Software Development Program, now known as Software Engineering. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into my first point. So the first thing that I want to talk about is WGU Academy. So uh, for those of you who are not familiar with it, but are interested in enrolling in WGU, uh, here's the thing. Your enrollment counselor might mention WGU Academy, which is kind of like an extension school of WGU that offers non-credit college courses. And basically there's this course called PACA, which is, uh, I think it's Program for Academic and Career Advancement. Uh, that they say that you take for guaranteed admission to WGU. Uh, the thing is, though, you don't actually have to take that course. Um, I was told by my enrollment counselor, hey, you have to take this course. And I went and I did the accelerated version, which took me about three weeks. Um, and then like, I, you know, I had to I had to basically extend my start date out a month uh, because I had to do that prior to enrolling in WGU. So I wanted to start in October of 2021, but then I ended up starting in November of 2021, which just kind of felt like I wasted a month of my time because I actually didn't have to end up doing it. And, you know, it could just be my specific circumstances. I was transferring in 15 uh, college credits and you know, some of you might actually have to take the PACA course, but I highly, highly doubt that you do. And it cost me, I think, like $150 to take it. Uh, and I ended up getting that money refunded to me because my enrollment counselor, he didn't lie to me, but he was wrong. Um, I think he just didn't know what he was talking about. So uh, I, I ended up like complaining and I got my money refunded back to me. It was this whole fiasco. Um, but I would I would just remember when in the early days I would just take everything uh, that your uh, enrollment counselor says to you with a grain of salt, you know, just kind of uh, make sure to confirm any claims that you're unsure of because I wouldn't want any of you to have to waste a month of your time taking some course that <laughs> was not helpful. It was just kind of like one of those mandatory general ed classes that everyone has to take but generally dreads taking uh, so just be on the lookout for that and then that kind of leads me to my second point about transfer courses uh, so like I said earlier I had 15 uh, community college credits that I ended up having transferred over uh, to WGU and those were from a California community college uh, so if you have college credits, then, you know, that's going to be helpful for you. However, they don't actually end up transferring all of your credits over, just the ones that they approve. So I had something around like 30 college credits completed from the community college, and they only ended up accepting some of them. And the ones that they didn't accept were kind of surprising. Like they didn't accept my U.S. history course, and then they made me take a United States government course uh, I, I, you know, as part of my degree program, which, you know, it makes a little bit of sense because, you know, it's not, it's not exactly the same U S history and U S gov. They, they cover, they cover different things, but at the same time, I thought it was a little bit ridiculous. I'm like, really, you can't just accept this. Um, and I have to waste a month of my time taking a, a government class, which was really tedious, um, and kind of annoying to take, uh, and I had to memorize, you know, all of these court cases and all these amendments and stuff. And, you know, I guess that's good knowledge to generally have, but, you know, I, I've probably forgotten most of the stuff that I've learned in that class. So if you are like me and you just want to get right to the coding part, what you're actually, you know, paying to study for in school, then what I would recommend is this alternate alternative solution that I wish I would have done, but I didn't do. And I've heard other people do, which is called straighter line. And basically what straighter line is, 
is it's this institution, this educational institution that provides, I, I don't think it's considered technically college credit because they're not regionally accredited, but they do partner with universities such as Western Governors University and some other schools, they have a list on their website. Um, but basically you take these courses and it's like, it's ridiculously cheap. It's like, it's cheaper than WGU. It's like $50 a course and basically uh, you just you just study what you need to know and then you take a proctored test. And I've heard some of these courses taking like a few days or less, you know, they're like ridiculously easy from what I've heard. So um, if you're thinking about enrolling in WGU, but you have some general ed credits to do, I would not recommend doing those at WGU because um, I think it will actually take more time and it will cost more money. I would recommend going to Straight Airline first. They partner with WGU so you can you can easily transfer over that credit. Just a warning, make sure that at the end of the day, your credit is actually going to transfer. Uh, don't just take my word for it, you know, do your own independent research so you don't end up wasting your time. Uh, but definitely look into Straight Airline if you haven't heard of it. And well, I mean, honestly, if I could go back in time, what I would have done is never would have gone to community college in the first place, taking classes that take me months to complete, you know, a whole semester instead of literally a few days. So uh, I, I would I would go back and I would and I would transfer. I, I don't I forget exactly how many credits you're able to transfer to WGU. I, I, I don't think it's it, it should be around 50 or 60 credits. Maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's around the rough number of what you can transfer over. So you can transfer quite a few classes. So this is especially pertinent to those who haven't done any college education before, don't have any credits. This will be an extremely helpful tool for you. All right. So then my next point is internships. So internships are going to help you stand out when you're applying to jobs after you finish your degree program. So this is especially important for you if you're watching and you're not planning on necessarily accelerating your degree, like you don't have some wild plan to finish WGU's software to software engineering or computer science program and in a year, or two terms, two or three terms, um, then I would definitely recommend doing an internship, right? Because internships are for people or for people who are currently enrolled in degree programs. And some of the time it's currently enrolled in just undergraduate degree programs, which is you. So um, I would recommend signing, trying to apply for internships, putting relevant course courses, anything you really can put on a resume, just throwing it on there. Um, you know, there's lots of resources online for uh, creating good resumes, and I'll probably make a video soon about doing that, um, you know, myself. But uh, definitely apply to internships. And the reason that I say to do this early and that I wish I had known earlier is because a lot of the companies will be accepting internship applications six months to a year prior to the actual start date of the position. You can't just finish school or be a couple months away from finishing school and expect to do an internship a month later. It doesn't work. That's what I that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought I was going to finish school and be like dee, 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 and then do do an internship right after I finished and they just accept me with open open arms, but that did not happen and it's turned out to be a lot more challenging than I thought it would. And I would say just don't make the same mistake that I did. Apply to internships early. You are going to be grateful that you got this advice now. Um, because you're going to actually be a competitive applicant in a job market that's increasingly, increasingly uh, competitive. So um, the next point is, is getting the knowledge, learning and practice um, for stuff that WGU software engineering doesn't necessarily cover in depth. So the main thing that I'm talking about is data structures and algorithms. Um, WGU, it, for the software development major, now I'm called software engineering major, they had a data structures and algorithms class that I took. I kind of breezed through it. I wish I had done it a little bit more in depth and kind of studied it more than I actually did. Um, and I would recommend the same for you to just, to just really make sure that you're well versed in those concepts before moving on from that class. Uh, however, my number one piece of advice is for those of you who are completely new, 
go to Code Academy and go pick out a language that you want to learn. Um, some that I could recommend off the top of my head would be Java. That's the first solid language that I learned. I would recommend it. It's not too difficult to learn. So Java, um, Python, or JavaScript, those are all good, easy choices that you can learn uh, on Code Academy. And you do the Code Academy intro classes, and you'll be able to do those courses. If you if you if you get a big cup of coffee and a nutritious meal, you can you can do those courses in in two to three days, uh, easy. Um, and that's going to basically give you the uh, the syntax knowledge that you need to be able to start doing the leak code problems. If you've never heard of leak code before, it's a website, so go check it out. I'll put relevant links and stuff in the description for this video, so you guys have the resources that you need. But yeah, go to Code Academy and then go to Leak Code, and then practice data structures and algorithms on leak code. So leak code is what you're going to is it's going to be an essential skill for you to do the the coding puzzles uh, for interviews, right? Basically, any major tech company is doing the coding the coding puzzles for uh, for technical interviews. So you need to know that. And if you go into WGU studying uh, one of their their IT programs, you know, computer science, software development, whatever it is, if you're doing a leak code every day from the beginning of the program, you're going to be basically a god when when you finish the program in terms of your data structures and algorithms knowledge because you're going to have been through all the problems, familiarized yourself with the, the different types of uh, problems and solutions and, and patterns that you basically need to know in order to succeed in those interviews. So it's really going to set you up for success and it's going to be well worth your time. You know, it might you might start out with it taking 45 minutes to finish a problem, but then you're probably going to start taking, you know, 15, 20 minutes. And, and that's not too big of a commitment each day to, to do, uh, to spend 15 to 20 minutes of your time, especially for something that's going to help you this immensely. And it's definitely something that I wish that I did more when I was studying at WGU. So um, if you haven't done LeetCode before, I would recommend trying out the FizzBuzz problem and the uh, twosome problem for your your first problems because those are relatively easy and they explore you know the basic coding or basic programming logic that you need to know um, to kind of just get your feet wet so um, the last thing that I want to go over and I've mentioned this in previous videos before but I want to just emphasize this again is time management so don't get caught in a mindset that a course is going to take forever or it's going to take X amount of time I guarantee with good focus and time management you're going to be able to complete a course way faster than you think. And I finished courses in just a few days, so don't underestimate yourself. Um, you know, I can't, I can't emphasize this enough. Definitely go on Reddit. Reddit's going to be your best friend for figuring out, you know, an idea of how long um, a course should take you. And to be honest, you could probably do it faster than what they even say on Reddit. So just, you know, make sure that you're actually learning the material, but don't get caught on caught up in unnecessary stuff or just tedious things that are taking you too long uh just just focus and 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 manage your time well and you're going to be able to succeed and get those classes done a lot quicker and land yourself a job a lot quicker um i was able to accelerate um pretty pretty well at WGU so I started like I said with 15 college credits in November of 2021 and I and I graduated in February of 2023 and I was actually working full time um, some some of my work weeks were 50 to 60 hours a week um, working in the in the restaurant industry as a manager pretty high stress high, you know demanding job and and you know I got home and from you know sometimes a 10 11 hour shift and I would go straight to work. So there's really no excuses. You guys are are able to manage your time well and just have that discipline and you're gonna be able to finish this degree program and and get away from that minimum wage job that you have or the or whatever job it is that you have and get a better job as a software engineer and a better paying position that you deserve for all the hard work that you put in the program. So um, I wish you guys all the best. And if you have any suggestions um, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. Uh, any any questions, anything like that, please just leave it in the comments. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please go ahead and uh, leave a like and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly new to YouTube and I'm trying to build up my channel. So any support I can get, I would appreciate. So yeah, I'll see you, I'll see you all in the next video.